so today is the big reveal for my design the look dress design the look is something i do every year on my instagram with the help of style maker fabrics i shared with you guys the fabrics that we have picked out for the 2020 design the look so if you don't remember last year we kicked this thing off you guys helped me design a magnolia a deer and doe magnolia dress out of this really pretty uh crepe panel so this year we were inspired by the pantone color of the year the classic blue and we have picked these two fabrics that you guys are going to vote on whichever one wins outright no matter how close it is that is the fabric i will use to make a garment and then tomorrow night we will give you pattern options and you'll vote on that and then sunday night when that voting ends you guys will get options for the pattern like sleeve length or sleeve options hem length if there's a bodice option you guys will get to vote on that Sunday night. I'll get to work making the dress and or whatever it is, dress, skirt, top, and you'll see it on the channel, a look that you designed for me. So cool. This year, everyone was presented with this butterfly eyelet and a rayon denim shirting. It was pretty much a runaway victory for the shirting. So then they were able to choose between the Sew Over It vintage shirt dress and the Sew House 7 Burnside bibs. This was a much closer race, but the dress ended up winning out. With that, we let them vote on whether or not it should have sleeves, the skirt hem length, button colors, and whether or not I should use a contrast fabric for the collar and button band. After a weekend filled with voting, the decision had been made. I would be making the Sew Over It vintage shirt dress out of a floral rayon denim shirting with three quarter inch sleeves, a knee length hem, white buttons, and no contrasting fabric. It really is so fun to let other people make decisions for you. It's very liberating. I highly encourage it. I spent the weekend making my dress, giving tips to my Instagram followers along the way. You can see some of that process in my Instagram highlights. Here she is. What do you think? Okay, let's first talk about the fabric. When I first got it, it felt soft, but with a bit of heft to it. After pre-washing, though, it somehow softened up even more and revealed its true drape, which is fluid and amazing. And it even had another little secret that neither I or Stylemaker Fabrics was prepared for, the colors. The background ended up becoming more of a true medium blue denim, and the flowers all turned baby blue. We tested the fabric in a front-loading machine with a color catcher and had similar results. So what you see in the finished look is really what the fabric was meant to be all along. And truthfully, I love it even more than its dark denim and white flowered counterpart. This just looks a lot more unique to me. The pattern was a new one for me. In fact, I'd never sewn any of Sew Over It's patterns before. The instructions were thorough, very detailed, and easy to follow. The only hiccup was converting from centimeters to inches for seam allowances. You also have to pay a close attention to the seam allowances because they change from part to part and they are not consistent throughout the entire garment. Everything was really easy to sew, but in my opinion, the sleeve heads are a really unkind way to torture a sewist. Even someone like me, who is proficient in setting in sleeves with all the right tools and tricks, I could not get them to set in without some gathering. The most intimidating part of the dress, though, is the collar, and I have to say that I thought it came together super easy with beautiful results. The entire dress is also unlined, which makes for a super fast sew. The fit is pretty spot on. It's a little tight across the back, which could possibly be due to the narrow sleeve head, but it's not uncomfortable. However, if you have a broad back or full biceps, you should definitely double check these measurements and make a muslin. The front of the bodice has plenty of ease, as does the waist and skirt. 
I will add though that I usually never have to lengthen or shorten my hems and this one is a tad short for my liking. I am five foot five inches for reference. All in all, I'm super happy with the outcome of the dress. I'm already planning a sleeveless version. With a few tweaks, I think it could be a tried and true for me. And I know I'll be wearing this version a ton during spring, some of summer, and fall. The fabric is such a versatile palette and print, it would work styled in many different ways for multiple seasons. So if you are one of my Instagram followers who participated in Design the Look, thank you. I love my dress. And if you aren't, you better go follow me right now so you don't miss out on the next opportunity to design a dress for me. But that's going to do it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you very soon. Bye.